some of those kids out there who were bullied by their parents or by other adults or by their siblings or by their peers aren't here to tell their stories today because they took their own lives or because they died of a drug overdose. These are inconceivable deaths. You see those people out there living on the streets, people who are homeless, people walking around with mental and emotional disturbances. Many of them were bullied and we stigmatize them. Our stinking thinking can cause our own or another person's depression, mental illness, or at worst, death. You know the ones, the negative judgmental things that adults told us when we were children, and now we claim them as our own. The stories that put us at the center of everything, and whenever anything goes wrong, it's all about us. It was our fault that our parents walked out on us. Our fault that our parents loved some of our siblings better than us. Our fault that our parents abused us. Our fault that our partner walked out on us, that our kids messed up. The stories that tell us that we should have got that job, we should have known better, should, should, should. Stop believing in this negative chatter that makes your life a living hell. We cannot control another person's actions, but we can control our own. We're powerless over the thoughts that enter our heads, but we are responsible for what we do with them. Your stinking thinking will get in the way of your happiness. Whenever we bully ourselves, we will bully everybody around us, projecting all the things we don't like about ourselves onto others. Just let go of your stinking thinking. Even if it's somebody in authority who's bullying you, you have to speak out until somebody hears you. It's a myth to say that when we speak out against bullying, it will make it worse. Research proves that when we name it, it will decline. If we don't speak out about bullying, we will continue to bully ourselves with all our self-harming behaviors. Loving kindness, can save yours life. It's a universal story. Bullying affects everyone, from the governments who repeatedly bully another country by saying, if you don't do what I tell you, I will drop a bomb on you, to the child in the playground who repeatedly teases another child, to us who can repeatedly bully ourselves. It's a sad fact that many of us will be bullied or bully ourselves or even be a bully. But it's a myth to say that bullying is innate and there's nothing you can do about it. Bullying is a learned behavior and behavior can be changed. Renounce your stinking thinking now. We are what we think.